Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the BIOS Precision Temp app. Keeping a careful eye on your child's fever has never been easier. The Precision Temp app helps take the worry out of a worrisome situation. The user-friendly interface and modern technology charts and graphs the temperature readings so that you can email them to your doctor or family member. This will allow you to monitor any changes in your child's fever and symptoms. Downloading the app to your smart device is simple. If you are using an Android device, launch the Google Play Store app. While in the store's home screen, select the search bar and type in the app's name, Precision Temp. Select the app and hit Install to download. For an Apple device, follow the same steps through the iTunes Store. You are now ready to start using the app. The Precision Temp app was designed for different thermometer uses. Select either the Fever Thermometer or Ovulation Thermometer button based on the app you would like to launch. In this tutorial, we will be demonstrating the Fever Thermometer app. Once the app has been launched, you will be prompt to log in. You will now have to create an account. To do so, click the Create Account button on the screen, enter an email address that you use on a regular basis, followed by a password of your choice. Make sure the password you choose is one you will remember, as you will have to use it in the future. Confirm your information by clicking on the Register button. Once you have registered, the app will prompt you to choose a profile. Here is where you will create each family member's profile. Click on the Create New Profile button. Enter the first family member's information as outlined on the screen. You can even upload a picture of that person. In the Medical Information section, you can list any important medical history. Once you hit the Save button, you will be taken to the home screen and the app will be ready to download the readings from the BIOS Precision Temp Bluetooth Ear Thermometer. At the top left hand side of the screen is the name, gender, age and image of the selected family member profile. To edit that profile, tap on the Edit Profile located under the image. Here you can modify the profile's information. Click the Save button at the top left to save the changes. If you do not want to save your changes, select the back arrow located at the top right of the screen. This will take you to the home screen. If needed, you can delete a profile by clicking on the Delete Profile button located at the bottom of the screen. Once deleted, the profile and history cannot be recovered. On the home screen, at the top you will see Precision Temp Status. Pull down to pair. Slide your finger down the screen and the app will start to locate your ear thermometer. Turn on the ear thermometer, you will now see connecting at the bottom of the home screen on the app. Once connected, pull down to unpair, will now be seen on the screen. You can now proceed to take any ear temperature reading. Once you are finished, the app will update the information under the profile of the person you are currently in. If you are taking temperature readings for multiple family members, you have to make sure you are in the correct profile in the app. You cannot re-download the readings from the ear thermometer once they have been downloaded once. It is important to note that the date and time needs to be set correctly on your Bluetooth ear thermometer, otherwise when you download the measurements to the app, they will not appear in the History Measurements section. Once the fever measurement is downloaded onto the home screen, you will see the temperature taken with a date and time stamp. The screen will also change color, red, indicating a fever, or green, indicating that no fever is present. To enter 
your symptoms, press the Symptoms button on the screen. You can select as many symptoms as needed. When done, press the Save button. You can only add symptoms when there is a fever measurement on the screen. If the temperature is showing three dashes on the screen, you cannot enter any symptoms. To set your medication tracker, press the medication tracker button. Press the add another medication button to list the medicine information. If you have multiple medications to administer, simply hit the add another medication and fill in the information. Once done, hit the save button. If you do not want to save the information entered, simply hit the back button and no information will be saved. In this section, you can see charts and graphs to monitor the progression of a fever. In the measurement screen, you will see a list of readings, newest to oldest, for the chosen day. To see previous days, press the back arrow on the screen. In the monitoring results screen, you have the option of seeing the last 7 or 30 days of readings. Finally, in the chart screen, you can view daily results. From all three screens, you can email the results to your family doctor. To email, simply tap on the word email and the email program on your device will appear. In the body of the email is the selected information you want to provide. In the settings section of the app, you can make personal changes to the app, including language preference, English or French, changing your password, setting your preference for the temperature readings, Celsius or Fahrenheit, and signing out. At any time, you can also contact us for any support and troubleshooting if needed. This concludes our video tutorial on how to use the BIOS Precision Temp app.